Stevenson joins me this morning. He's going to be talking about cans and what exactly are we going to do with these cans, Jeff? Well, I right now have superhero fever. I just saw Captain America Civil War and I just love all the different superheroes and all the superpowers. I thought we'd explore some super strength type of activity. You're pretty jacked up right now. I, I am. I okay. just I love superheroes and all that kind of stuff. You know, Captain America holding down that helicopter. If you haven't seen it yet, I won't give too many Don't spoilers. I won't give spoilers. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glove up. And what I did is I brought some uh, aluminum cans. We're putting some gloves on just to okay. just for the safety of our hands. And I want you to very carefully pick up that can, and I want you to try to just like tear it in half. Like grab the bottom and top and just kind of twist and tear. Okay. This one right here. Yeah. Sure. 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 Just like that. Excellent. That was easier than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's because I give you some super strength beforehand, right? All right, so what we are doing here is we did a very cool science experiment where we ripped a can in half, all right, because what I did is before we started, I took a little dental tool and I actually scratched the inside of my can because I have some copper two chloride here. Did you know? Yes, and I, and I put a tiny little scratch in there and I put copper two chloride into the can. What that did is it caused the aluminum to oxidize. It pulled an electron off the aluminum and it uh, caused copper to form inside of the rest of the solution. That dropped out. Bottom line is, is it dissolved the copper into the solution. It weakened a specific area in the can. Yes, but I bet you're wondering, why did it not weaken the whole can? Why just right down the middle? And that's because there's actually a tiny little polymer plastic layer on the inside of all aluminum cans. Okay. Uh, most food products, because the acid from the carbonic acid or the phosphoric acid in your soda would dissolve away at the aluminum. Right? Aluminum is actually a very reactive metal. So to kind of show you this, can you, can you tear me off a piece of aluminum there? I sure can. Just a real tiny little piece. Yeah, sure, that works. All right, go ahead and drop, just drop it into my container there. And this is the solution I use to weaken the aluminum. So this is just kind of showing you uh, what, what, what's going on here. Uh, aluminum will naturally form an oxygen layer on the outside of it, but then eventually it'll burn through that. Well, not burn through it, but it'll it'll work its way through through that oxygen layer my and goodness. actually dissolve the aluminum. So this is what happened inside of our can, just in that tiny little etching mm -hmm. that I did. Um, the rest of it was protected by that polymer layer, which I think is really cool little chemistry demonstration you can do and it makes it look like you have just super strength. They're just tearing cans in half. Do you want to tear a couple more? Can we? Oh, can, yes, we you can. You know, you had me thinking I was all strong. Ready? Right, yeah. One, One, two, two, three. Two. Oh, isn't that awesome? It just feels cool, doesn't it? You're good, good. Get tear. I, I brought all these cans here for you. All right. Excellent. Boy, it's kind of rejuvenating. Yeah, it feels good. It makes me feel like Captain America or Tony Stark or something like that. But it all does come down to science. It does. It is That's kind of a little... what you guys do at the Imagination Station. So what's kind of coming up here? We're, get, we're, we're basically on the home stretch here with the kids in school, so they're getting ready for summer. Yeah, we got lots of field trips going on. But if you want to come in next week, it is probably my most fun event. I just love it. It's okay. Marble Machines. It's part of Innovation Week. All right. And so uh, next Tuesday through Sunday, we are going to be doing these really Really cool pegboard marble machines where you can kind of create your own Rube Goldberg like device, roller coaster, marble roller coaster. It's kind of hard to describe. You have to come and check it out, but it's a ton of fun. So it's all happening all next week. If Jeff, if Jeff tells you it's cool, if I'm psyched about it, it's cool. You're going to be psyched about well, he's it. He's psyched about tearing cans in half. I, as I, well, I get psyched so. about a lot of stuff. All right, Jeff, we appreciate that one. Thank you so much for coming to visiting us today. WT11, your day is back in just a moment. Stay with us.